Okay, today let's build uh, this Mr. Mech Type 2. It's based on the Type 2 claw walking robot. So you have the level walking, but the body raises and lowers. You have the mouth opening, closing, and the uh, arms extending. It's a fairly simple build. So let's give that a shot. Set you over there. Um, if you'd already built the Type 2 walker, you can use that walker and put this body on it. All you have to do is print um, a body mounting part, which I can put up on Thingiverse that would glue under the frame. This particular frame that I've laid the parts out for already has that part added to it. Normally, this uh, Type 2 frame goes from here to about here, so it's this whole wedge piece that you just would glue on, then that gives you the place to screw a body on, gives you a level surface. And again, using the very inexpensive dual shaft uh, motors, um, Banggood, AliExpress, eBay, just about any uh, robot part shop place going to have them. This particular one was like 89 cents, but of course you had to wait three weeks for it to come from China. But uh, you can pay a little bit more and get them quicker. They all have a, a, a notch tit, whatever you want to call it, on one side of the frame. And that's what the uh, smaller cutouts for. So that helps you know how it's going to orient in there. And you kind of have to snap it in there. So I just uh, start it, push, and push back down. There. Dropped into the hole dropped into place. Um, typically, and I guess maybe I better do that too because I probably won't be taking this one apart. I put a little drop of uh, glue in there. Uh, super glues aren't good for this type of a, a fit, this type of an application because they're not enough gap filling. So I normally would use something like like goop, something thicker you could use a little drop of silicone if you don't have a goop or an equivalent to goop somewhere. But just put a little drop on there, snap it back in. Then that should secure it in place. The gears uh, all print. By the way, this piece prints flat on the bed. No supports. Printed at uh, 0 0.2. The gears all print, all of them is uh, one file, one part. They all lay flat like you're seeing them here in this, uh, seeing them here. Uh, again, no supports. I do print the gears at uh, 0 0.15. Just, I've never even tried them at 0 0.2. I'm sure they would be fine. But I do them 1.5 just so that they're real crisp and everything's the way it should look. And uh, the two smaller gears basically snap onto the motor shaft. I guess that one snapped in. I think it should go in a little bit further. Maybe I better look at that gear. Well, I think it's I think it went all the way. Um, in the past I have held them on with uh the screws just to make sure they don't go anywhere. I'm going to just use a, a number two self tapping screw of various lengths. And we'll, we'll know in a minute whether they went on far enough or not when we try to put everything together. And then, time to put on the big outside gears. We've built into the uh, frame this time the little uh, riser so you don't have to use washers. So it's one less part. These are 3 by 12 and I 
I screw them tight and then back them off. So the screwdriver works better on those screws.